Okay, so in this video, we're talking about the multiplicative inverse property. So let's look at these different um, choices here. Choice one, a times one is a. In other words, anything times one is itself. This is the identity property. Identity as in the identity of a, right, whatever value it is, is not being changed when we're multiplying it uh, by one. So it's identity property of multiplication. In choice two, this is called the zero product property. Why? Um, because zero times anything is zero, right? This is an extremely important property. One of the most important properties uh, you encounter when you're studying quadratics for the first time. Uh, but also in general, you know, anything times zero is zero. That is the multiplicative inverse property. Um, I'm going to jump to choice four. I'm actually not sure what the name of this property would be. Um, I guess what we're doing here is just multiplying negative a by negative a, and that, that's the same as negative 1 times a times negative 1 times a. And here if we regroup and reorder both the commutative and associative properties, we can multiply negative 1 by negative 1 first, and then multiply that by a times a, and that's equal to positive 1 times a squared which is just a squared. I think this is a combination of both the associative and commutative properties. If you're multiplying these two things, the reason we can get a squared is because first of all, we can decompose the numbers into these factors, then we can regroup and reorder them here, and then find the products. So there's a couple of things going on in choice four. Now choice three is the only one left, and that's the answer. Let's talk about why it's the answer. a times one over a. Well, that's the same as a times one, or a, over a, right? We're just multiplying right there. And anything divided by itself is 1. That's the multiplicative inverse property. Well, what is? Let's focus on this. The fact that any number and its reciprocal, or in other words, any number and then 1 over that number, multiply to 1. In general, you might look at other examples. For example, 5 times 1 fifth. Those are reciprocals and they equal 1. So those are reciprocals of each other and they multiply to 1. That's the multiplicative inverse property. If you have a fraction in the beginning, let's say 1 half, multiply it by 2, and those are reciprocals of each other, and the product is 1. If you have an improper fraction, like 2 thirds, the reciprocal is 1 over 2 thirds, which is 1 times 3 halves, or just a simple way of thinking about it might be just to flip the fraction around. The product of these two is still 1, and those are reciprocals, and that's, what the, that's the multiplicative inverse property. So if you multiply two numbers and the product is 1, they're reciprocals of each other, and that's called the multiplicative inverse property, although it sure would be nicer if it was called the multiplicative reciprocal property, although it's certainly a mouthful. Thanks.